Today, I spent the entire day just trying to figure out what was happening with my PC. Without any warnings, my monitor just kept on going dark. Manually turning on and turning off my PC fixed the problem, but it was only for a few minutes because it would go dark again. Looking at the event viewer, there was a warning about the NVIDIA driver recovering from a crash. The exact warning message was, and I quote, Display driver NVLDDMKM stopped responding and has successfully recovered, end quote. Why would the NVIDIA driver suddenly crash when it was just working fine? Confused as to why it was happening, I searched the internet for possible solutions. One possible solution was updating my NVIDIA driver, but it was already updated. Since it was already updated, I reinstalled the latest NVIDIA driver through GeForce Experience. Did it fix the problem? No, it did not. My PC was still experiencing the problem. Another possible solution was disabling hardware acceleration in Windows, but when I checked, hardware acceleration was turned off on my PC. I also checked if my video card or GPU was overclocked. It was not. In the few more hours that passed, I tried out two more possible solutions. One was editing my registry. Following the instructions from the internet, I opened the registry and went to computer slash hkey underscore local underscore machine slash system slash current control set slash control slash graphics drivers and added tdr delay. The type was reg underscore keyword with a date of value of 20. Did editing my registry work? I'm not sure because after editing the registry, I also changed the link state power management to off. This was under power options, advanced settings. One of the solutions suggested something like cleaning the inside of the PC. So using a small blower, I cleaned the inside of my PC by blowing off dirt that has accumulated inside and outside the case. While I was writing for this, the last NVIDIA driver crashed happened over two hours ago. Now, did I fix the problem? I'm still not really sure, but I'm really hoping I did because this is my only PC and if I lose this, I won't be able to replace it with another one. When my previous PC died, it took me three years to save enough cash to buy this second-hand PC from a relative. And that was just two years ago. I'm really hoping that it will at least last five years before it starts breaking down. Anyway, if anyone else was having the same problem on their PC, then I hope they will find my experience with this problem somewhat helpful. That's all I have for you in this video. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.